Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to be using a plugin to back up, restore and move a site from localhost to online. The plugin we're going to be using today is called WP Vivid. I'll put this link below the video, you can download it, it's absolutely free. Just hit the download button it'll download it for you. Now over here I've got a localhost site. Let's go and install the plugin. So I'm going to hit the add new. Plugin's been downloaded. I want to upload it, so I'm just going to drag it over there. Here's the downloaded file. I'm just going to drag it right there. Hit the install now button. Now it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now once it's activated, you're going to see the WP Vivid listed in your dashboard menu here with all these different options here. Okay, well let's see what we got. We can do with it. We've got just a small site here, it's not huge, it's just a Divi site we've been playing with. Um, It's got a few different pages on it and some different features and what have you. So what we'll do, we'll copy this site or make a backup of this site and then see if we can't move it to an online host. See how easy that is to do. So let's go back to our dashboard here. And I'm on the WP Vivid Backup tab here, Backup and Restore. And I want to make a backup. I want to back up my database and files, which is the entire website. I want to save a local copy of my file to here, where, where it is on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead. Those are all selected how I want them. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Backup Now button. And as you can see, the progress bar at the top is moving along nicely. There we are. Well, it's finished its backup. And here it is. It's appeared right here in our backup section just down below where we hit the backup now. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. If we'd made this back up a few days ago and we wanted to restore it we could simply click this restore button right here to restore it but I'm not going to do that on our site because we won't see any changes I'm going to actually clone this whole site on a, a live site like I say I'm on localhost if you want to learn how to build WordPress sites on localhost look down below I've got a course on it down there and we're going to move it to a live site. I've got a live just a generic WordPress site as you can see. This is just a fresh install of WordPress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that back up there. So I'm going to hit the little download button there. while it's doing its thing on this site on my new site let's go to the dashboard and I'm going to install the WP Vivid plugin on this side as well so let's have a look where's our plugins add new like I say this is just a fresh install WordPress has nothing apart from the regular files there again I'm going to drag this across install now while that's doing its thing let's have a look how we're doing here so I guess that's it I can go ahead and download it as you can see it's been downloaded right there let's go to our online site and activate this plugin that we've just installed there we have it 
Now what we need to do is load the backup to our new site here. So if we hit the upload tab here, there is a different way of doing it with a key, but I'm going to just do it this way. We can select our backup that we downloaded just now from the local site, drop it there. There it is. So we'll hit the upload button. And while it's uploading, just have a look, make sure we haven't forgotten anything with our other site over here. Nope, I think we're in good shape. All right, well that's finished uploading now. And as you can see, we're on our online site. There it is, it's appeared in our backup list. So all I should have to do now is hit the restore. And it's going to restore the backup. And it says restore and replace original day URL with the new one, which is our online one, which is exactly what we want because we want all our old URLs from localhost to be now to be changed to system 22. So we'll check that little box. We'll hit the restore and let's see how long it takes. Yes, I do want to continue. Okay, that's taken about a minute and a half, almost two minutes. Let's see if it's done it correctly. Restore completed successfully. So now it's asking us to log in. So it wants us to log in using the name and password we used for our local site. Not the new WordPress install, but the same one as we had on our local site that we just copied. Make sure that's correct and log in. There we are, we're logged in. Let's see if the site's actually migrated correctly. Hmm, very good. Looks good, everything's there. URLs are correct. yeah very easy indeed like i say you can back up and restore locally for your regular site which is why wouldn't you with this plugin it seems really good to me let's look at our original site just to make sure it's, are we on the about yeah we're about us page it's the original yeah we've got everything Okay, well I'm happy with that. So there you have it, this WP Vivid backup plugin. Like I say, I'll put the link down below. Really handy little backup utility. And the best thing about it, of course, is it's absolutely free at the moment. So I should use it. I'll be doing another one on creating automated backups. But I think that'll do it for this one. So well, good, well done team over there at WP Vivid. I'm very impressed with your plugin. So there you have it. I hope that's been useful to you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.